No matter which arm a donor chooses, volunteers can flip a chair to accommodate in no time. If they're a left arm donor, they used to have to wait until a bed was available. And now the beds that we have can move so that we can do either arm from that one bed. So that will help considerably with their late time and getting their processing done really quickly. With more beds and space to move around and a two hour radius from its home in Portland, the Red Cross of Maine's new blood mobile will help reach places the organization has never gone before. When we go into a community, we usually look for a building or a room that we can set up our blood drive in. And a lot of these rural communities don't have that type of facility available. It's almost equivalent to a full blood drive that's occurring inside somewhere. Red Cross officials are hopeful the comfort and convenience of the blood mobile will draw more people to make up for a donation deficit. They say the need is greater than ever. No thanks to the latest round of nor'easters and the severity of this flu season. We've seen a 15 to 20 percent reduction in the amount of donors that have come out because they've got flu-like symptoms. The Red Cross can share donations nationwide. To do so, it must collect more than 13,000 blood and platelet donations every day because every two seconds, someone's life depends on it. When you donate that one unit of blood, it can go up to three patient recipients. Thanks to this tour bus sized blood mobile funded by humanitarian partners and donations, the process for Maine donors is a little more streamlined. Lindsay Mills, New Center, Maine.